while the automotive world races headlong toward an all-electric future. Tampa car dealership abruptly closed its doors today, leaving already frustrated customers wondering what to do. Toyota has quietly been charting a radically different course that challenges the industry's single-minded EV obsession. As competitors from Tesla to Volkswagen pour billions into battery electric vehicles, Toyota's engineers have been developing alternative technologies that could potentially upend the entire EV paradigm. This contrarian approach raises profound questions. Has Toyota uncovered fundamental flaws in the global EV strategy that others have overlooked? Is this merely corporate stubbornness from a traditional automaker, or does it reflect a more nuanced understanding of the complex transition to sustainable transportation? The reality is that despite massive government subsidies and aggressive marketing, the world remains unprepared for wholesale EV adoption. Critical infrastructure gaps persist, with charging stations still scarce in both urban centers and rural areas worldwide. The environmental and ethical costs of battery production, involving rare earth metals like lithium and cobalt, present another major hurdle, as does the strain mass EV charging would place on already fragile electrical grids. Moreover, battery electric vehicles continue to face limitations in long-distance travel, heavy-duty applications, and extreme weather conditions, challenges that Toyota believes require a more diversified technological approach. Rather than joining the industry's rush to abandon internal combustion entirely, Toyota has maintained its commitment to hybrid technology while aggressively pursuing hydrogen solutions. This multi-path strategy reflects Toyota's belief that different markets and use cases will require different solutions, a vision rooted in their pioneering work with the Prius Hybrid back in 1997. While most automakers signed the COP26 pledge to phase out gas-powered vehicles by 2040, Toyota notably abstained, choosing instead to continue developing a portfolio of technologies including hybrids, plug-in hybrids, hydrogen combustion engines, and fuel cell vehicles. The hydrogen component of Toyota's strategy faces significant challenges of its own. Most hydrogen today is produced from natural gas, gray hydrogen, while truly clean, green hydrogen made with renewable energy remains expensive and difficult to scale. Consumer awareness and acceptance of hydrogen vehicles also lags far behind EVs, requiring substantial education and infrastructure investment. Yet Toyota sees particular promise for hydrogen in commercial transportation, where fuel cell trucks could offer faster refueling and longer range than battery electric alternatives, advantages that could prove transformative for long haul trucking and other heavy duty applications. Meanwhile, Toyota continues refining its hybrid technology, recognizing that for millions of drivers worldwide, hybrids represent the most practical near-term solution for reducing emissions without requiring massive infrastructure changes. The company's plug-in hybrids offer a particularly compelling compromise, providing all-electric capability for daily commuting with gasoline backup for longer trips. This diversified approach stands in stark contrast to competitors betting everything on battery electric technology reflecting Toyota's belief that the transition to sustainable transportation will be more complex and multifaceted than current industry orthodoxy suggests. While Toyota isn't abandoning EVs entirely, the company continues developing solid-state batteries and plans new electric models. Its refusal to follow the industry's single-minded EV focus demonstrates both the confidence of an automotive titan and the pragmatism of a company that revolutionized green transportation with the Prius. The ultimate validation or refutation of Toyota's unconventional strategy will only become clear with time, as the complex interplay of technological advancements, infrastructure development, consumer behavior, and environmental pressures unfolds over the coming decade. What appears today as stubborn resistance to industry trends may eventually be recognized as prescient caution, or conversely, as a costly miscalculation in an accelerating EV revolution. Toyota's steadfast commitment to technological pluralism, maintaining investments in hybrids while pioneering hydrogen solutions alongside measured EV development, represents a fundamentally different philosophy from competitors betting everything on battery electric dominance. This multi-pronged approach ensures that regardless of how various clean transportation technologies evolve, Toyota maintains relevant offerings across different markets and use cases. The company's strategy acknowledges the messy reality of global energy transitions where regional disparities in infrastructure, economic conditions, and consumer needs make one-size-fits-all solutions impractical. By refusing to conform to the industry's EV monoculture, 
Toyota preserves crucial flexibility to adapt as circumstances change, whether that means scaling up hydrogen infrastructure more rapidly than anticipated, addressing unforeseen limitations in battery technology, or meeting the needs of markets where full electrification proves impractical. This hedging strategy comes with significant risks, including potential opportunity costs in EV market share and the challenge of maintaining parallel development efforts across multiple technologies. However, it also provides unique advantages in a future that may require diverse solutions for different transportation sectors, battery electrics for urban passenger vehicles, hydrogen for long-haul trucking and industrial applications, and advanced hybrids for regions with underdeveloped infrastructure. Toyota's path serves as an important counterbalance to the industry's groupthink, ensuring that alternative approaches continue to be developed and refined even as the majority of investment flows toward battery electric solutions. The company's willingness to challenge conventional wisdom reflects lessons learned from its history of innovation, where being first with hybrid technology ultimately proved more valuable than following short-term trends. The automotive industry stands at a critical crossroads where the urgent imperative to address climate change intersects with the complex realities of global energy systems, manufacturing constraints, and diverse consumer needs. A convergence that makes Toyota's diversified technological strategy particularly compelling. As governments worldwide mandate increasingly aggressive emissions targets while simultaneously grappling with the practical challenges of energy transitions, Toyota's multi-pathway approach, encompassing hybrids, hydrogen fuel cells, and selective EV development may offer the flexibility and resilience needed to navigate this period of unprecedented transformation. Where competitors have placed singular bets on battery electric vehicles, Toyota has maintained a portfolio of clean technologies that can adapt to varying regional infrastructures, economic conditions, and use cases, from urban commuter vehicles to long-haul trucking applications. This strategy acknowledges several fundamental realities often overlooked in the industry's rush to electrification that electrical grids in developing nations may require decades to support mass EV adoption that critical battery materials face supply chain constraints and ethical sourcing challenges, and that different transportation sectors have fundamentally different energy needs that may not all be optimally served by battery technology alone. By continuing to refine hybrid systems while aggressively pursuing hydrogen solutions, Toyota positions itself to meet emissions reduction targets through multiple technological pathways rather than depending entirely on the success of any single approach. The company's substantial investments in hydrogen infrastructure and fuel cell development, particularly for commercial vehicles, suggest a long-game perspective that recognizes heavy transport may require fundamentally different solutions than passenger vehicles. Meanwhile, Toyota's market-leading hybrid technology serves as both a bridge and hedge, delivering meaningful emissions reductions today while maintaining technological relevance if battery electric adoption progresses more slowly than anticipated in certain markets. This diversified approach carries inherent challenges, including the financial burden of parallel development programs and the risk of falling behind in any one technology area, but it also provides crucial insurance against the uncertainties of technological disruption. As energy storage breakthroughs, policy shifts, and infrastructure developments reshape the competitive landscape in unpredictable ways, Toyota's strategy ensures it maintains multiple avenues for meeting future regulatory requirements and consumer demands. The company's willingness to resist industry groupthink reflects lessons from previous technology transitions where early leaders often fail to sustain their advantage, and where the eventual winning solutions frequently emerged from unexpected directions. In maintaining this balanced portfolio during a period of extraordinary industry upheaval, Toyota demonstrates a strategic patience that could either appear brilliantly prescient or dangerously conservative in hindsight, a determination that will ultimately depend on how quickly various clean technologies mature, how infrastructure develops, and how consumer preferences evolve across different global markets. What remains undeniable is that by fostering competition between technological approaches rather than conforming to industry orthodoxy, Toyota helps ensure the automotive industry's transition to sustainable mobility will be guided by practical solutions rather than ideological commitments, a contribution that may ultimately prove as valuable as any single technological breakthrough.